I spent $1,000 on TCG player and it all went wrong. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys everything we bought for $1,000 on TCG player in that video. If you guys missed it, go check it out before you see this one because we spent a thousand bucks to see if this $1,000 in Yu-Gi-Oh cards will actually make us money versus if we had just invested it in other places. But since we're talking about TCG player, I got a couple of things. First, a giveaway. I'll be giving away a $50 TCG player gift card. And if you're from like, outside the US, then we'll figure something out. Maybe like just $50 to card market or something like that. But all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about what happened with our buy. Was it still a good buy? Was it not? And also wanna remind you guys, use my TCG player affiliate link below. If you guys want to support the channel, you just click it, you buy whatever you're already gonna buy, it supports me. Let's get into the video. So here are all of our packages that uh, actually arrived. If you guys remember, we bought like maybe 11 items. I don't know from like one of a couple of them were from the same seller. So it wasn't even that many different things had to be shipped. Guess how many have arrived? All but not one, but two have gotten lost. Yeah, two out of like 10 different sellers have gotten lost. 20% of our packages have gotten lost. So we haven't even looked to see if the conditions are good yet. So the conditions might be bad, plus stuff has gotten lost. So I'll give you guys the story for that as we go along. So this right here looks to be the ultimate rare blue eyes. I think this is from collector's cash. So let's check out if these are in good condition, how well they were packaged, all that stuff. And let's just see how much of a disaster this $1,000 has been so far. So we have collector's cash. Okay, there we go. Let's see how this blue eyes is. I believe this is the first edition one. Everything was near mint that I bought. So everything should be at least near mint. Let's check this out. This card looks to be, from what I can tell. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, that looks terrible. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. So this one is definitely lightly played max. So this is part of the risk. If you buy cards instead of investing in like stocks or a fund or something like that, when you do that, you don't have to worry about your money getting lost, your money being in bad condition. But in this case, in Yu-Gi-Oh!, We've not only lost uh, two packages, but we now have a lightly played, I mean, I wouldn't even sell this as lightly played, but probably generously lightly played Blue Eyes White Dragon rather than Near Mint. Oh, that thing looks absolutely terrible. Okay, well, that's a bad start. On to our next one. Let's see if we can actually get something that we actually wanted because right now it is not looking too good because two of my packages, okay, the two that did not arrive, we can talk about those. Let's start with the solemn warning has not arrived yet it has been in transit i think for 13 days now has not moved it says in transit arriving late that tends to happen i'm not completely giving up on that one yet but it still stinks because it's taken that long we will see if that one ever shows up i was gonna make a video when that one got here but it just took entirely too long to do so we're gonna wait on that one this one is like literally stuck in here all right so this one i don't remember what this is Oh, a dusted gold from Brothers of Legend. Surely this is going to be in good condition. The set just came out when I bought it, so <laughs> it should be okay. Okay, it was not double-sleeved, it seems. That is fine, though, if as long as it is in okay condition. Okay, this one looks pretty good. little dot right there, but that's okay. All right, so on our $12 card, it looks like uh, there are a couple of things on here, but that's still near mint. Whew, okay, our $12 card was actually okay. So what? So far, we're one for two on the ones we actually did get. Now, let's get to the other item that did not arrive. And I'm pretty bummed about this one because it's one that I really wanted to get. The, what well, not Flame Swordsman, what is it called? The Silent Swordsman level five, I think. The ultimate rare from Flames, Uh, not Flames, what is it called? Flaming Eternity, there we go. All right, oh, looks like this is a big one. So we have the uh, Astral Rare and the Lightning Storm. So we're gonna check these out. But before that, the flame what is it called golly the silent swordsman so it got delivered to a city in my state tennessee but it wasn't even close to me it was like two hours away i messaged the seller hey hey bud i don't say bud because when you say bud it means like it's like condescending almost i, I don't understand why people say that i wanted to say it but i didn't so i was like hey man well w what's the deal and he's like oh i delivered it to the address that you put on your tcg player and i'm like no you didn't i don't have this city on there and he's like oh well uh yeah i did yeah i sent it to the right place and i'm like dude this is not the same like i i i we went back and forth for literally a week and i'm like this is not the right address it's delivered to the wrong spot and he finally accepted because i send him my address and then the other address and he finally is like okay i'll refund you but the dude was not going to give me a refund we went back and forth for an entire week 
I'm saying, dude, you sent my card to the wrong address. Like, I need a refund for this. Like, it's not going to show up. He's like, well, can you check your local post office? I'm like, well, my local post office is two hours away from the one you delivered it to. It's like that. that they're not going to know. Like, so eventually I did get my money back for that, which was a huge bummer, though, because it was one card that I really wanted. So here we have the lightning storm. This actually looks really nice. So I think we did OK on the prismatic. This is the one we spent the most money on. So that's a good thing that we actually got this one. It came in in good condition. Kudos to this seller. I got to check the seller name so we can give him a quick shout out. There's the Astral Leviathan. That is beautiful. Man, these are both mint condition. So pro seller here. They actually sent us some really nice stuff. Putting them two cards in the same top loader is actually not a big deal. I like to do that because as long as you use two penny sleeves, they fit perfectly. They don't move around. I like to double sleeve if it's a single card, though, because if it's just one card and a penny sleeve, it'll move around and like ding the top this was actually a tcg player direct sale which means that tcg like does the orders for them but these were gamers choice and health points tcg so it looks like those two are pretty good i guess tcg players doing everything for them but it looks like tcg player direct and actually you know deliver sometimes so we are doing okay now three of our four cards have been in good condition we've only lost two of them so far and so i know the the, the one that i actually got a refund for is definitely gone because it was delivered to the wrong address i don't even know where that address came from so I don't know, should I like rebuy that card, do you guys think, so that we actually get it and can compare uh, and just use the old price? I mean, or should we like have to use the new price because that's like part of the thing is like the fact that it got lost, I now have to spend more money. I don't know if I get to cheat and, you know, pretend like it didn't happen. So maybe I need to just get a whole new one. So here's the other blue eyes. Let's get this out of here. Okay, we got the blue eyes out of there. Let's see, we have unlimited. This was the cheapest card we bought. It was only $8. Uh, this one looks near mint to mint for sure. That is very, very nice. Okay. Uh, maybe a little little whitening at the top, but that's okay. These tend to have a little bit of whitening with these dark edges. It's pretty hard not to, but that's still pretty good. So overall, not the best experience so far. I mean, it's just kind of what you expect when you buy a TCG player. Not everything's going to go right. It's a bunch of different sellers. It's not TCG player themselves. It's, you know, the sellers on TCG player are sometimes not good. Kind of like eBay. You guys know eBay can be rough sometimes. This guy had addresses on both sides, so we're going to have to open it off camera. Okay, here's one of our biggest ones. We got the Elemental Hero Stratos. Please be in good condition. Oh, there's more tape. Okay, more tape. Okay, there we go. The tape has been removed. Only a single sleeve on this one. It seems. No, double sleeve. Okay, no, two nice sleeves, actually. Okay, cool. Are these Dragon Shield? They seem like Dragon Shield. All right, very, very good. So far, nice packaging. Very taped up, though, which is a little scary. We have the Stratos Ultimate rare from ots what nine i think back looks pretty good there's a little bit of an indent but i think that's just from the ultimate rare artwork a little bit of a line through the middle but that's not too big of a deal that's a pretty good condition stratos i'm not going to complain about that one so it looks like we are doing better now it started off really rough uh it's still kind of rough because two of our cards got lost I and mean, let me know what you think like 20 percent of your package is getting lost i know there have been a lot of packages just getting lost in general by the postage so could have been the seller's fault could have been the post office's fault either way it's still pretty rough on to the next package i have had a lot of people tell me their order has been lost recently on tcg player like at least a few people usually people under ten dollars though which is always very suspect when selling on tcg player when somebody tells you their order is lost i actually had someone oh we I forgot we bought this i actually had someone tell me their order was lost from four months ago so when that happens, you're like, wait, like, are you trying to scam me? Or like, what's the deal here? It was a very low amount order and there's obviously no tracking. And these people tend to say, oh, do you have tracking for the order? And it's like $4. You're like, well, tracking costs $4. So no, I did not have tracking on this, but I don't know. If you guys are sellers on TCG player, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you're not, it's probably like, what is he talking about anyway? But you, you'll understand if you do it one day. So red eyes flare metal. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness, scratching. There's definitely some scratches on it, which is unfortunate. It's not great condition, but it's honestly not like that bad. This just looks absolutely amazing, though. It's definitely better than the one I have. It's first edition, which is pretty cool. Back looks good. So if the only issue is some, some foil scratching, probably fair to call it near mint. So overall, not too bad on that one. It's not like minty, but obviously when you buy near mint, you shouldn't expect mint. And our final item that actually arrived. So unfortunately, we did not get two of the items. But we did get uh, some other ones. So overall, I would say that this TCG player order has gone wrong completely. I mean, when you don't get two out of your 10 cards you order or something like that, that's probably not a good sign. And also two of them being pretty nice. So let's see what we got in here. This is the Structure Deck Warriors Triumph. This is first edition. So this is pretty cool. What can you get in here? 
Guilford the Legend, Warrior Lady of the Wasteland. What is that? Warrior Lady of the Wasteland? I've never heard of that. Dark Blade, Goblin Attack Force, Gear Free, the Iron Knight in there twice. Okay, Marauding Captain's in there twice. Yeah, so this is actually a structure deck. You actually get multiple of the decent cards. Pretty cool. Reload is in there twice. That's kind of funny. So this is pretty cool just to have for the collection. I think structure decks are actually really cool and kind of underrated. The thing is, they're not very fun to open because you know like exactly what you're getting. But they are really cool to like have sealed. So this thing is not in like incredible condition. It did come in a bubble mailer, which I thought was a little bit odd. Probably got a little dinged up on the way here, but still really awesome thing to add to the collection for sure. Overall, let me know what you think about this. Two out of our 10 orders actually just didn't show up. So 20%. One is still in limbo, so we might get that one. Another one was probably my favorite card I bought. It didn't show up. Should we rebuy that and add it so we can like check on it in a few months? Because obviously this isn't going to work too well if our $1,000 like... 160 or 70 of the dollars don't even show up uh it just feels kind of bad but if you did like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel because we're doing more stuff like this in the future shout out to tcg trust card so info show tomato juice noah j stanley mike nance baby gecko duelist king card spanky mcfarland g raider and daxter thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace